Hello everybody, welcome back to Old World Blues, where you have successfully convinced us to uh, play this DLC. I want to say to completion, but you know, with how much we were crashing last time, no. that may not be possible. <laughs> Let's play until we see, meet some more NPCs and do some more stuff. To yeah. completion. Oh, <laughs> no. that guy is really fucking us up. Do I have any There's a multiple endings to this playthrough. Some involve no, us completing Alex. the game. Some of us involve, have... you know, flying to <laughs> Vegas in a few days to murder Draw. So he can't play. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, I would like packs. to help with that. I would really like to help with that. I'll let you know when the my layover, you know. Yeah. You, you, Alex, get, you we'll just get... said that. You just said that and Mumbles got just got flagged uh, plot critical NPC. <laughs> Somewhere in the distance. Escort mission. <laughs> also, I just want to say that I never thought this would backfire, but my phone notification noise for the past few years has been the Fallout, uh, like, level up sound. You fool. It's really... Because I haven't played Fallout this Fallout game in a long time, so it's really confusing me now. <laughs> oh, man. Can I mention that um, it's kind of amazing that we finally decided to get cannibalism and we're at such a level that it does almost nothing at all? But it's like, look at my health, it's not moving. That's for you but to say that it. it does nothing at all. I clearly see stuff. Yeah, but, stuff is happening. And I hear a joy in Mumble's voice, so... Yeah! I'll... Yay! Eating people is fun! You're, you're not nursing your character, you're nursing Mumble's. Yay! <laughs> Also, it's a role-playing choice, right? It doesn't yeah, necessarily yeah, like have to have a... people. I, and I have to say, of, of all of the outfits we've worn before, eat like, we could have worn to eat people in, a hospital gown with our butt hanging yes. out and a top hat is probably what? the ideal choice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is this thing? Oh, that's the sonic gun. I have no memory of this it whatsoever. It goes boom. Uh, I'll tell you what it does if it becomes relevant, <laughs> but basically this thing is like kind of a, it's a multi-tool for Old World Blues. I like and the swimming minigame on it. That's neato. Yeah. Those are the little waves. Do you get to so like, sort of get you on those waves or is that how, okay. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> uh, Josh is actually doing very badly at it though. Uh, I have to say that this, oh, yeah. this may affect her ending. Oh, definitely. So we were. Uh, our goal was to get the personality of the toaster. Yes. Right. Yes. I, I just like being able to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we must. We must give the toaster a soul. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little toaster that could. I actually don't. I don't know if this DLC makes any brave little toaster references, which it seems like that would have been a slam dunk. The yeah. toaster itself so is we said it was like funny enough. Here. It doesn't need it. Yeah, definitely true. Uh, yeah, it should be somewhere around there. Um, okay, so I, I'm looking up. I, I have the wiki it's open. By the other because... gray rock. It's by the other gray rock, right, Redskarn? It's the other one. Not oh, that yeah, one. The, the other, other one. one. God damn it. All right, there's a location called the <laughs> Cuckoo's Nest. It's by that gray rock. Actually, I think you're right you're there. Gonna, yeah. You're going to see what looks like a shrine. Um, that looks like a shrine to me. Bloody pillow. What kind of teddy bear, fucked up pagan religion box. do you follow? There you go. Yeah. Look. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, look by right by the entrance to whatever this is. Oh yeah. Don't use it as a gun, Josh. What are you doing? Why on earth would you? It seems to be working. It worked. That guy just yeah. face planted into the rock. And now you I've got a gun them. on my fist now. Cruelty free. It, yeah, you have to figure that when you eat someone that was killed with a sonic gun, the meat is probably in better condition than if they were, like, shot with bullets or the bones were pa pulverized. My screen says this danger. This is organic. <laughs> well, it is lobotomite, so they've been treated with all kinds is of, like, local? processes. <laughs> is this local meat? What was it's his the, diet also the, before he died? 
Also, the big empty is an enclosed prison of no escape, so it is not free oh, range. That was not what I wanted. What the uh, fuck? That's a bummer. Well, they get sunlight, so that's that's, that's one up. Junk food. That is true. So <clears throat> when my wife and I watch Crunchyroll ads, because ah. God knows we're not going to pay for Crunchyroll. What's wrong with you? <laughs> they do the same ad over and over at Starry I know! Mad. I know! It was great, because in Oklahoma, it was always ads for something completely insane. Like... No! <laughs> but, um... The one... Very recently, like, the ads we're getting is for, like, cage-free chickens. Uh... And they'll just play the same ad over and over again for cage-free chickens. And they have a jingle, which is like actually sounds like a real pop song, and it's been stuck in my actual head for weeks. Sing it. Sing it for me, Red Scarn. We going outside, baby! Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we feel amazing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they're cage free and they're out free ranging. Because some say they're cage-free, but that just means they're in a giant barn. You gotta watch out well, for that in, shit. In the commercial, the chickens are breakdancing in a prairie. I have no oh. idea what the reality of the situation is. I'm so That's happy so for cute. those ki kitchens. Chicken kitchens. Chickens oh. soon to be in my kitchen. <laughs> Do you have a chicken-themed kitchen? I should. I have a green-themed kitchen and a green-themed game room because my favorite comic book character the is the Riddler. Fuck? And so therefore okay, this everything person. is green. Oh, that's a trauma override harness. Uh, so basically these are harnesses <laughs> that had people inside them, and then the people died, oh. but the harnesses just kept going. Do you think uh, you could eat it? So... That's, I Try think you could. It. I think you could. I don't know. I, I, maybe I'm wrong. It. Oh, yeah, yeah. Josh, like try to the, eat that. Try to eat the trauma like override bone harness. Stew? There's a like lot a of these override harnesses. Stew? In fact, there's a lot of just random stuff in general here. Oh. Yeah, eat it. Okay, but you're gonna need to eat them, so... I have an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's shoot these guys with the alien blaster from Aliens. Also, watch your health, Josh. Oh, that's gratifying. Yeah. That's not from aliens. It's more from like Mars attacks. Let's let's be clear. Yeah. Why would that from be aliens? From fucking Toy Story is what that's from. <laughs> it's from. Oh it's yeah. From Buzz Story Lightyear blasters. Astro Blasters. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, Space Ranger Spin. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, yeah, is different. that how it is? In, in hey, fairness, you gotta represent the East Coast, man. That's how it is. In in, in fairness. They do have a better Buzz Lightyear game on the on the West Coast because you can actually pick up the guns, whereas ours are mounted to the thingy. Oh, oh, like but but it's it's yeah, the yeah, restriction but I don't that calls for the greatest skill, I think. Oh, you guys think that's you a good point. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I I I suck at Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters anyway. I have never cracked whatever like the crappy level is. Josh, eat the right, eat the trauma eat harness. This. Eat the, I can. eat the trouble hummus. S somehow, trouble hummus. I'm getting shot at while Yay! I'm doing it. It's trouble like, hummus? It's like <laughs> bone soup. <laughs> it's like bone soup. <laughs> Delicious. Okay. I haven't been following what what they're called. Did did someone call it a trauma hummus? Are we eating trauma hummus? <laughs> <laughs> that was bone the hummus. <laughs> That's exactly what we're doing. Is this hummus we're... organic? <laughs> is this trauma hummus organic? Is this trauma? Is this trauma hummus cruelty free? What else is have this we got cruelty this thing? free? I'm an well, ethical cannibal, so. Well, a person yeah. died a horrifying death, and then their lumbering corpse was wickedly puppeted about in a cruel mockery of life before it was blasted yeah, but... to smithereens by a naked just... man who proceeded to rip the suit apart with his bare fingers okay. and shove entire fistfuls of bone shards into his mouth, gnashing them beneath his mm. mutant, unholy okay. molars. So, no, it was okay. a little unseemly. But what about, did he get enough sunlight during the <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Josh, when you get a chance, I know it's hard because there's a lot of enemies around here, but you get a chance, just fast travel to the cuckoo's nest. Okay. Wait, I gotta eat this guy. He's gonna burn. <laughs> gotta get now your I'm just on fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So smoky, so delicious. 
Smoky Bones. Oh no, that is an actual guy. Okay, I couldn't tell because yeah. the fire was covering him up. So I'm sure Luscious. they explained it in the um in the conversation that I I got nothing from. Uh, but how how do the lobotom how are lobotomites not dead? They only uh, they have the brains. Yeah. They have like microchips or something in their brain, what is which will run you them. Guys, they just took the brains out for one second. Leave them back in. Is, no, uh, it's fine. Is, is this DLC known for being really hard? Because I remember it being weirdly difficult, but I think I was okay. under level. You, I warned Josh. Did it I not warn Josh? Uh, Red Scar. Okay, Josh, you actually and you Alex, actually, you were there. So Josh, actually go inside. I'm sorry. What it it looks like it is actually inside the location. I mean, I figured, but then people started shooting at me, and I was like, the, You have so many this. stim packs, you're fine, you yep. can do anything. <laughs> people started shooting you, and you're like, I wish they wouldn't. I, I really wish I could <laughs> stop somehow. Yeah, if, if only there was some way to tell these people to... That guy just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> I had a new stretch goal. Why can't <laughs> I click <laughs> saying, Stop shooting me. That is definitely... a mix between... <laughs> Two actors, right there. I just want to say that my, I just want to say that my, uh, my pitch for adding a nude mod while we're adding all the Butterfix mods was roundly rejected. No and one even brought it up. Actually, I don't I, think. I, I, I forgot so. about it. I really should have installed that and just not said anything. What? I would have been all for nudie mods, anime I and nudie mods. All the way down. Fallout is so ugly. I don't want to see anything more explicit in this. This is just. I want everyone to look like trash. anime. I actually, I had heard that apparently one of the the nude torso, like nude bodies, made for the game, is like conspicuously better than the heads. So it actually looks weird. It looks like you put like a bunch of oh. like 1960s GI Joe heads on top of like $500 anime figurines. I'm for That's this. what I mean. Like, it's so much trouble for at just, like, shitty porn. You know, like, uh, yeah. there's so many better ways these days to just, like, fuck with, like, 3D models and make but them Alex, look sexy. What? If I'm playing this game for 60 hours, I should have my nudies in the game. So I don't have to take a break from the game to look at nudies. You know what I'm saying? The economy. <laughs> that's that's how you know a game is monopolizing like your your life with like one of your primary human drives needs to be integrated into the video game loop. I gotta have those nudies. People were telling me that No Man's Sky was gonna be the last game you'll ever play, and there isn't a single naked person in that video. <laughs> I know. I tried. <laughs> that's how you know they're full of shit. <laughs> Mom's tried. Mobile's like, can, can you start? Can you start like a let's play where you go around No Man's Sky desperately looking for an alien that looks like a butt? Yeah, but everybody will call me a pervert online, and Toaster. I don't want that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> okay, you got the toaster. You can leave here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to incorrectly hey. say that nothing else in here is worth your time. <laughs> Oh, Vats. How, how could anyone say this game was hard at all? This is like fucking. You can just pause it all the time. Stim packs immediately heal you. I was thinking, like, oh, was this the game where they made it so steam, stim packs were over time so that, like, if Wait. you got into a real bad situation, you can just pause the game and rescue yourself? But no. How, how do we no, have 150 stim packs? Yeah, hardcore mode uh, is stim packs heal you over time. Hacking. Hacking. Do you not realize this is the save that we did from eight years ago? Did we fail no, to communicate just, that to you? No, yeah, yeah. This is this is OG Reginald Cuthbert here. Well, not OG OG because that was Fallout 3, but this is the other one uh, from from that original playthrough, and I just brought it back from like the end of the game. I guess we should go back to the Epcot. I'm just gonna. Yep, you back to Epcot. Get it, old timey music. You like what Epcot's gonna look trumpets. like soon anyway, so you might as well just call it that. <laughs> yeah, we, we have the radio. <laughs> I heard good Epcot. things about Epcot. Was I mistaken? Uh, I heard they're gonna do new stuff. That was good. It, it is, Please but it's gonna become construction parts. hell for about three years. Oh, I see. But also, they are like drastically oh, changing really Spaceship Earth, so I'm really nervous show, about that. Oh, I'm glad I wrote that again a few years ago. 
And they're shoehorning Mary Poppins into the UK. The remake <laughs> version. Not the good version. Oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> Sometimes I really like just picking a fight in a fandom I'm not part of. That's right. Don't even That's talk awful. about Epcot if you're not from the East Coast. That's all I'm going to say. Because so that's all we blood, had. Blood gets on the plasma. You had like five cutter? other parks. How many? You had and, five and other two, parks. Well, two of them are not even real parks. They're like half a park each. It's, okay, it's, it's, it's like two uh, Josh, fast travel <laughs> home is number one. Uh, number two is is Bush oh, Gardens yeah, Bloomsburg an East Coast park? I mean, it's on the East Coast. Yeah, but is it like considered part of the East Coast uh, canon? Wait, I which think park? Because so, we have Six Flags. We have Six Flags, Rotsgarn. Yeah. yeah, Bush Gardens Williams were a gag. It's Six Flags sucks. Six Flags is stupid. Except for that Riddler this ride, it's toaster. dope. This yeah. is not the toaster. Yeah, yeah. The, like, actually, some of the Batman stuff in general is good, uh -huh. but the, the parks the themselves Batman. are very do, bad. Do they... Do oh, they yes. still have any of the Batman stuff? I thought WB got rid of all their branding from that, from Six Flags these days. Oh wait, shh. it's a toaster. I have to go now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> He's yes. into it. Yes. I love Soon him. Soon my okay. work will be complete. Soon the world will burn. All the voice acting in this fire. DLC is so good. Yes. Soon I will. Yes, burn it all. <laughs> you can tell the apocalypse already happened. <laughs> really? It's the soul of Joaquin Phoenix Fuck. in the future. That really puts a damper on the toaster's mood. Oh well. <laughs> no use crying over spilled Armageddon. Where was I? Oh right. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire. Again. Yeah. Again. A yeah! <laughs> they got the voice actor to do the pause. Voice actors I never do pauses with jokes. The main reactors, I will burn the world. Have you ever tried to indulge in all? <laughs> That's such a good line. A death ray is just a, to a toaster is just a death ray at the small <laughs> power supply. Yes. yes. You'd have a lot of pent up anger too. So is this toaster just Reginald Cuthbert's long lost brother? Yes. Buddy, if my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now! On fire! <laughs> well, since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. <laughs> More NPCs should say this when you say you want to ask them questions. <laughs> Can we actually do anything with the toaster? You find out! Afraid. Ask and find out! I am the scourge of all small appliances, and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night. <laughs> Not just murder! <laughs> I tear them apart and render them down to their base components! Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like! So we're gonna feed it toasters. Yep. Well, well. What have we got, got some here? toasters for you. Another innocent little There toaster. were a bunch of toasters with the fucking here. thing. I could have gotten oh, those and yeah. brought them back here. We wouldn't have to make another gotcha. trip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. The sweet smell of spilled electric guts. The sparking diodes. I fucking live for this. <laughs> Superheat Saturnite Fist. Hmm. Yeah, this is the Critical thing you want to do. Damage. Take your dominant Ooh. hand and encase it in <laughs> yes. something that is like red hot constantly. <laughs> yes. What else can you do? Got any more sweet? And one of my favorite things in all of Dead Money is the the cosmic knives. You guys remember those? No. What do they look like? It's like chef's knives, you and like you find a bunch of notes in the game about how like, oh, they're sparing no expense for building this hotel, so they got like these chef knives that are like cosmic like knives that are like super sharp, 
And there are all these notes from the chefs that are like, they're literally cutting through our cutting boards. Like we're slicing fingers off. These things are way too sharp. Why did they order these? They're way too fucking sharp. And then someone finds out that if you put one on a heating element, like, because they have the suit be heating uh, mechanic in that DLC, one of them finds out that, like, if you leave it on the stove, it won't cool down for, like, hours and hours. And they're like, this is the worst possible thing to have in a kitchen. <laughs> That's great. And the 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 actual so you know there's like uh, weapon schematics in the game, and there's a schematic for like a superheated cosmic knife spear. And <laughs> so oh, I'm, I'm actually I'm, I'm looking for it because it's it's, it's 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 iconic. You just put the knife on the end of the spear. That's genius. Yep, you, yeah. Why that's pretty much that. it. Yeah.